up against world number one and defending champion, Ja Trump! Friday night at the waterfront. It's lively in here. Two matches to complete the semi final lineup at the Northern Ireland Open. And this is a big heavyweight clash if ever there was one. Judd Trump Thank against Sean Murphy. Judd Trump's a break. Judd Trump's a break. Judd Trump leads the head to head. 16 wins to nine. He's won the last five, including. A tight semi-final in Riyadh, the Saudi Arabia Masters, 6-5. And also, of course, this season, a bit more comfortable, 11-5 in the final, the Shanghai Masters. Murphy may feel he owes him one, but we saw last night against Hawkins, and we've seen it really all year, how hard Judd Trump is to beat. This is his 15th tournament of 2024, and it's the 15th time he's reached at least the quarterfinals. Sean Murphy, though, likes the big occasion, doesn't he? Likes being out there, centre stage. Get the feeling this will be a really good match tonight. Of course, he had that narrow escape. Brilliant game yesterday with Stuart Bingham. 4-3 on the black. Murphy's third quarter-final appearance at the Northern Ireland Open 2019-2021. He got that far, never any further. Of course, Trump is aiming to win this title for a fifth time. So it's a venue he really enjoys. Just a containing safety shot there. Not trying to get the cue ball back down the table too far. He actually tried to hit that uh, around the right and cover it with the bolt colours, which he's not managed. It sure would be a good match, these two, isn't it? You'd think not to foresee anything but the way they've played to get through and the style of players they are. Reminder that Louis Heathcote and Elliot Slesser are on table two, that's live on Discovery Plus. The respective winners will play each other tomorrow night. It's Pang Jung Zhu, Karen Wilson in the afternoon. Tomorrow. When of course we'll be down to just a, a setup that Trump is well used to. He won five tournaments last season. Already this season he's won two. The Shanghai Masters where he beat Murphy in the final, of course, the Saudi Arabia Masters where he made that fantastic clearance against Mark Williams. Once again, difficult to play up the table here with the red on the left side. Doesn't leave that many options, really. Not positive safety shots, unless he thinks it's worth going for something to left middle, but that is really difficult. By nature, a very attacking player. Sean Murphy, he's going for this. Tough shot. Oh, that's really very good. It worked. There wasn't though uh, sometimes comes into it not a meaningful one an excellent opening red he 
does sort of feel like he's due a win. I mean, we saw Neil Robertson and Mark Selby recently come back and, and win tournaments after a little period out. Sean Murphy won the Championship League at the start of last season. The rest of the campaign wasn't so hot, but, you know, he's played some good stuff this season. Judd Trump, of course, has beaten him a couple of times. He lost two other players who have gone on to win tournaments. Neil Robertson at the English. Xiaogu Dong played outstandingly against him in Wuhan. But he's got to beat this man tonight to stand a chance, of course, of being in the mix for the Alex Higgins Trophy. Well, he's going to look to see if the red by the black is in any way potable. I'm not sure. It does look a bit like the red is a bit cross to the left and touching the black or very close to it. So it might be an area, but there, there isn't much room to pot it if there is at all. Thanks. Certainly have to give this breaker quite a lot of thought to see if he can make it into something. I think he's looking at either whether the pink goes to the left corner or that's probably the most likely thing that he is studying. There's a red just below it. I'm not sure there's any sort of a gap through to it. 30. Yeah. Pink and then if he's got a just off straight angle, he could go through the reds. But I think it's a bit wide, the angle on this. Try it. Is he on it or not? He'd be unlucky if he's not, actually. 36. Don't know if he can get to the potting angle. I don't think so. It's a, a more difficult red to middle here where he can't cue the white very well over the bunch. Very good shot. Very. Good. Maybe it looked easy, but it wasn't. Yeah, there's not a lot of room there either, but there's a red to middle anyway, but there, are, there is a red that goes, it seems. 
44. It's a terrific opening red to make any of this possible. <coughs> yeah, I mean, when Murphy turns it on, as we see the red again, fantastic shot. And when he turns it on, he, he really is some handful to watch. He's, uh, he won the Players and Tour Championships, didn't he? Back end of the season before last. And the Players' Championship in particular, he was just absolutely brilliant. Uh, hey, your man here may be a star of the What's future. Yet? Being inspired by these great players. Yeah, if Murphy can produce that level that he did to win those two tournaments, he can beat anybody. He's done particularly well with this break, you know, because the red's been sort of glued to the black all the way through it. 54. Now, is he not on this? He looks a little disgruntled as if to say, well, uh, Thought he would be on it. I'm sure he can get to that. Not saying there's a lot of room, but... 55. Well, he really pot here. He got the cannon on the black, so things are looking OK. Played it with a trace of left-hand side, Ashley, to widen the potting angle. See then, he needs one more red. 62. This is the way to beat Trump. Keep him in that seat. We saw Corin Wilson come out, played a great first frame against Mark Williams. It did set the pattern in this afternoon's match, but he's overcut that. John Murphy. 62. Yeah, it's a slight worry, isn't it? Because the red was awkwardly placed by the black all the way through. It no longer is. Well, Trump made a couple of terrific clearances last night, didn't he? Against Hawkins, that made all the difference. What? really good clearances, not necessarily in orthodox positions, the balls either. Often started with a very good opening red. Here, as you can see, his next red into a fairly acute potting angle into the middle. He's not straightforward. No, he's always going to be near Joe, that. Just Trump hates. Well, the concern for Murphy is the balls are in well, too open a position going forward. He wants something safe. It's a bit of a concern, this. 54 in front doesn't mean a lot where the balls are. Lucky pocket. Just got to watch which colours he takes because with the reds at the other end of the table, it's not so easy to get onto high value colours, and he will need 
quite a few of those. He's taking the pink here as well, so that takes a point off. And you'll certainly have a look at the scores and be attempting to finish on something higher value than so the bulk colour. He can't afford to take any of those. Forty-seven the difference. Yeah. He's gotta be watchful of that. I think it's gonna be very hard. But even if he's playing on the blue here, Eight. very hard to take high enough value colours with the two remaining reds. The fall of pink it has to be a black from here, otherwise he's not going to be able to win the frame without a respot or even needing snookers. So this is not nice. Definitely not easy. Playing with topspin through bulk here. Back down the other end. Fourteen. Really hit the balls with pace and accuracy, Trump. Twenty. So thirty-four in it. He'll not be going for this red, but a red and the black and all the colours can win in the frame. Just Trump. Twenty. Best, that last shot. Yeah, left the shot to nothing, not in though. But second part of the shot, cue ball back to ball. Already a exciting start to proceedings. Murphy made the early running with the 62, just trying to get over the line now. Well, that might have just about won the frame for him if it's a snooker. Oh, I think he can get through. On. He needs, of course, a black off it. Yeah, shake of the head from Murphy. He was in control of this frame. Did have frame ball initially on that break of 62, which he overcut to this pocket. Yeah, 
he's right to be concerned. This was the uh, the red that he that he overcut, as I mentioned, on 62. Sir. Thirty. Well, frames like this can really set a pattern. Sean Murphy, it's only the first frame, and he's looking down as if he's really disappointed, thinking that this is not the start he was looking for. He came out well, but 62 break is well and good, but if you don't win the frame from there, it kind of hurts more than if you didn't really compete in the frame. But he's making a, something of a career of this now. Judd Trump stealing frames. Twenty-eight. It's definitely the one that got away for Murphy. He was looking to make a good start. He was well on the way to doing that. Yet again, Judd Trump has made the clearance. 